Hey guys, Harsh here back in video. So in this video, as you can see, I have my ESP8266 node MCU over here and my DHT11 sensor. So in this video, I am going to show you how you can use them to get your temperature and humidity readings onto your mobile device, whether it be a smartphone or a laptop or anything with a web browser. And to make this process a lot easier, I am going to use the Task Mode Web Server application, which I have already installed on my node MCU over here. And if you haven't heard of Task Mode, then I really recommend that you check out my video on how you can install it onto your node MCU module. It is a really easy five minute process and there is absolutely no coding involved in that particular video as well and in this one as well. So without wasting time, let's get started. So this is a very simple process. All you have to do is just connect your DHT11 sensor to your ESP8266. So you can do so by connecting your VCC to the 3.3 volts on the node MCU. Right over here as you can see. Then we can take our ground and connect it to the ground on the DHT11 sensor. And then you can take the data pin and connect it to the GPIO pin of your liking. For this particular example, I am going to use the GPIO pin number 4 which is labeled as D2 on the node MCU. So it is the third pin. So I will just connect it right over here just like so. Now all our connections are done. Now we can head over to our computer and configure it and get the temperature reading. Okay, so here I am on my computer and as you can see, I am on the local IP address over here, which is 192.168.1 and 8. And you will get this IP address when you install the task mode application. I have explained it all in the video. So do check that out. Now what you have to do from here is go, just go to the configuration then click on configure model as before you can see the model type is set at generic 18 so we'll just leave it at that and as you know we have connected the sensor to d2 which is gpio pin number 4 right over here as you can see it is written and in this section you have to select your mode which is going to be dst11 which is right over here at the middle you can also set other as well as you can see we have a lot of options over here with 16 15 14 13 and whatnot so once you have selected that you can just go ahead and click on save and it will first restart a device and then you will be directed back to the main menu and from here if you have done everything correctly then you can see we get our temperature reading humidity reading and dew point which i still don't know what it is so you can see it is currently at 27.7 degrees celsius and the humidity is at 40 percent and from here you can now just monitor or save your data to any database of your liking. So there it is guys, that's how you can use the ESP Node MCU 8266 module with the DHT11 sensor and use it to get your temperature and humidity readings on a web server like this one over here. So thanks for watching the video. If you have any doubts or comments regarding this video, you can comment down below. I will try to answer them as soon as possible. So until then, I will catch you all in the next one.